And this, this morning, as I was praying, I had the same pain in my belly that I'm used to, and it was getting difficult. At least six to 12 or more times, I've been led by the Spirit of God, yes, more than a dozen, to say, I will not die, Satan, I will not die. Devil, I will not die. Satan, I will not die. Satan, I'm not going to die. Satan, I'm not going to die. I will not die. Satan, I will not die. Satan, I'm not going to die. And guess what? I knew the devil was trying to kill me. And I knew he had zero, zero in on me. But you know what? Normally, uh, normally five minutes or so, that I will get rid of that. Push it back enough and I can move on. And I've learned that there's such pressure on my soul, which is will, intellect, and emotion. And the, the intellect is in your brain and that the central nervous system, I happen to know a lot about neuroanatomy, physiology, and other things, and I'm not boasting. I'm just letting those that know this subject uh, what I know. And there was such pressure on my intellect, on my brain, that would cause involuntary movements of my arms. And of course, I knew what was happening. And when I would pray to a certain place, the involuntary movements ceased. And also the pain reduced and the pressure on my head was reduced. Amen. This morning, after maybe five, maybe ten, I'm not sure, I, I'm not interested in checking out the time. I'm interested in getting the devil off of me. And I was telling the devil, I'm not dying, I'm not going to die, I'm not going to die. Kathy D was there. She's watched me, actually, through about five years of this. Well, she's the one that saw the first, and others have seen it since, or during this past five years. But then I started praying, Satan, I drive you out of my body. 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 Satan, I drive you out of my body. Satan, I drive you out of my body. Satan, I drive you out of my body. I drive you out of my body. I drive you out of my body. Satan, I drive you out. I have not prayed that way. I actually forgot I ever did. But 1977, I prayed that very way. Had a problem after I got out of Argyle. You can read about it. Had a problem with clear speech. And that bugged me. And there's nothing wrong with my voice. Nothing wrong with yours. There's a devil oppressing me. Thank God. That, but I was going northeast of McKinney one day up 121 to attend a sick horse. I was a veterinarian still. I'm not now, thank God. But I was praying that very way, and all of a sudden, my voice cleared completely. And I had several years. There was no attack on my 
voice, but it's on my soul. It's on your soul. You just read it. Amen. Thank God. But this morning, I drive, drive you out. Satan, I drive you out of my body. I drive you out. I drive, drive you out. And then I got wild. I started clapping my hands. Hallelujah! 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 This drives the devil crazy. So if this bothers you, you got a devil. Hallelujah! 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 And I just went, Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord, 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 hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Wow. I told KJ, I said, I am becoming a fool for Christ's sake. Well, you know, you think I'm a fool to act like this. You know, I was in uh, Hollywood, Florida, 1971, and I went to a football game. The Miami Dolphins playing the Chicago Bears. And it was about two or three minutes left. The score was 31 to 3. The Dolphins ahead, and they start stumping. Stump, defense, 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 defense. And the Lord said to me, wouldn't it be nice if they were all saying, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I thought, oh, I'm not that free. Some of you are so bound, you don't want to admit it, your pride's got you. So who you're talking to? Well, if, if you're offended, I'm talking to you. And I'm bugging your devil. Look, folks. It says in Revelation 18 that every person has been a partaker. A partaker of the inhabitants of Babylon. And what are the inhabitants? Habitation, Babylon, the spirit, is a habitation for devils. The hold of every foul spirit. And the and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Now, it says every human being has drunk of that fornication. So you think you have it, huh? Well, I'm delighted to tell you that you have. I'd like to do that with the Lord. Well, so anyway, it's the first time that I've ever overcome an attack of this devil with praise. After resisting the devil, driving him out, then overcame with praise, thanks, Praise and thanks. It took me an hour and a half to get on top of this. I will share this with you. I said this to someone yesterday. I have said several times, Satan 
I'm not going to die. Satan will not die. Satan will not die. Satan will not die. Now, not once did I ever think I would. Not once. But one thing I can tell you, Satan was at an attack against me that obviously God let it come against me that had, that could have killed me. He said, well, why do you think that? Well, why would I say, and it works, got the attack on by me, Satan, I'm not going to die. Satan, I'm not going to die unless the, <laughs> the possibility was there. Now, I've never shared this, this play, but I'm reasonably sure that God had given me the faith, the strength, the anointing to stop the devil from killing me. And you haven't heard me say that prior to this day. But you know what? The body of Jesus died. His spirit didn't. His soul didn't. In hell, Jesus praised the Father all the time. Psalm 22, Psalm 88. And his soul and his spirit knew that on the third day the Father would raise him up. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. And you know what raised him up? Praises. God anointed his praises. It says, Psalm was 22, that God inhabits the praises of his people. He inhabits the praises. Well, today was the first day, there are other places, uh, the first day that I've overcome this spirit. Praising the Lord. Glory 